Hello everybody, it's Fred with Wentworth CCTV and we are coming to you today with a video on how to build a bridge to transfer internet service from your internet service provider, from your modem, um, to a building uh, in a remote location on your property. Okay, it's a simple process and we're going to cover it now. All right, let's get into it. Before we start, if you are new to our YouTube channel and you find this information useful, make sure you hit the subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen so you can be notified when we uh, post future content that can help you um, do things yourself uh, at your home or small business. So yes, um, we are going to connect these bridges. We've connected the internet service provider's modem directly to um, one of these ports in our switch. Um, of course, these PoE uh, ports can still be used for devices um, at that site. This is a high-speed bridge. They're in Station 5 ACs. They can go five miles line of sight, folks, a long distance as long as they can see each other. We like to put these about 20 feet high so they clear obstacles below, okay? Um, this receiving dish, this receiving end Station 5 AC, um, can then transfer that internet to another switch in which we can plug in uh, PoE IP cameras, we can plug in access points. Uh, it's not shown here, but we could even plug in IP phones. So this would be perfect for an environment such as a campground, right? Where you have a camp office, the reception desk, all that, that's where the internet is. But we also have a store down by the pool where we have a POS terminal and we sell stuff and um, you know, we'd like internet there. So great, we employ this switch there. We can put cameras in the store, cameras on the pool, plug them into this switch. We've got our access point plugged into the switch to give the, the guests in the campground Wi-Fi, and we are good to go. Now, there will be situations where um, the building that you want to relay the internet, internet to is away from line of sight. In that case, we can employ what we call a second leg. Okay, so in this drawing, on this map, we have a bathhouse here, okay? And there are a lot of trees here um, that prevent us from having line of sight from the store in the campground to this bathhouse where we want an access point to camera, right? So what we can do in this situation is create a jump or a leg. And we see here this end station 5AC is providing internet to this access point. Um, this end station 5AC is building a direct bridge to this access point. Um, here we have another bridge providing internet access to this access point in this camera. But this guy here and this guy here, uh, we can't see the, the internet source, the hub. We can't see it. Our bridges can't connect. So what we do is create a leg. This access point actually is connecting to this bridge, okay? So we have two end station 5 ACs here connected. This bridge is going to connect to this bridge, okay? There's two ethernet ports on this dish, okay? Um, one would go to the PoE switch, the LAN one would go to this bridge. Um, this access point would connect to this bridge at the PoE plug. Um, there's another LAN port uh, for that. Um, but in any event, what that does is extend the network from here. We're getting 800 Mbps to this dish, which is sharing that with this dish and this end station 5AC giving internet to this access point. Okay, and we've done the same thing here. Okay, there's a leg from here to here and then a leg from, you know, here to here. So this is um, how we want to set that up. Uh, in campgrounds, we don't want to go a, a second leg, okay? At that point, we're affecting um, the backhaul and throughput, and at, at some point, the end users aren't going to get much internet, okay? So we're okay with one leg. We're fine. This is still getting 500 Mbps here, okay? Um, and if you look, there's only, what, eight sites? Um, so they're not going to use all that. But if we go again, the next one's only going to get, what, 200 and then the one after that, 100, at some point, um, it diminishes, um, you know, the throughput and, and that's not effective. So one leg, as we call it, or one jump is fine. We don't want to go much above that. Okay. Hopefully this is helpful. There is a link below um, showing you how we program these bridges in WDS bridge mode. 
um, for this type of communication. Um, it's very important you do that properly um, to make this work effectively. As always, we hope this video was useful to you. Please like it, please subscribe, and we will see you in the neighborhood. Yeah, we like the bomb, 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 bomb.